Welcome, welcome YouTube. I hope you guys are doing well. My name is Man. Uh, welcome to the Meta Wealth YouTube channel. In this space, we talk about NFTs, crypto, metaverse, everything to do with the virtual reality. And in this video, what I'm going to be sharing with you today is something really actually what I would have uh, known when I first started in this space as well. Now, you might be thinking like, mm, what was it that you want to share today, man? And actually, it's about how to get um, familiar with this whole virtual space and i'm talking about um, basically getting information getting data getting um, more acquainted with what is going on um, and upcoming news so without further ado let's go ahead and begin this video so first uh, things first what i want to really share with you guys um, especially with this um, with this tool here and for those who have been watching some of my videos in this channel you guys probably are familiar with dune analytics and the reason why is because here on the OpenSea daily volume what i want to share with you guys here is something interesting and i want to give you guys some insight as to what we can see within this data now when i first started i was thinking oh my gosh like look at all these um, bar charts look at all these graphs like, i have no idea what i'm looking at right but just to give you guys an idea as to what it, what you can get out of it or what you can extrapolate from this data is within this period here when we had the bear market within the NFT space, you could see that not much was really happening. Actually, you was getting in a downward trend, which means um, the, the amount of trading, the amount of transaction that were happening uh, wasn't wasn't as good as how it used to be um, back in the beginning of October. The the reason why this was happening and there's there's a lot of different um, factors or variabilities, but the one thing that I really did notice is that there weren't really new buyers, there weren't new people entering in this space, and actually during this space, this is where crypto really started to shine, and that's where a lot of the uh, capital that people were using um, to put into NFTs were actually moved to crypto. So that's why you could see uh, this downward trend here. Now, it's not to say that those were just the main things. Obviously, there were um, other things that uh, that were accounted for. But from just an um, overall uh, observation, this was what's happening. Now, from, from the middle of November up until now, what we can see is that the that the charts has actually gone into a bull market which is basically it's going in the upward trend things are picking up and what we've seen is new companies um, entering in this space and actually not just any company but reputable companies such as adidas nike coca-cola mcdonald's they've been getting their people with a fresh new eyeballs into this nft space and actually recently i don't know if you guys have noticed but uh, Nike has uh, recently, um, recently, recently, what is it called? Um, partnered, or was it they? They basically uh, bought 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 this NFT project, which is um, doing really uh, well right now. So RTFK, KT, and Adidas has also released uh, their recent uh, NFT project with over 30,000 tokens. Now, usually whenever you have a high token supply like that, usually um, I would be very, um, very more careful with that. But actually with a company with so many millions of followers and a lot of eyeballs on there, those 30,000, actually I was trying to admit one that day, but... <laughs> There was too many demand on it and yeah it was just um, very hard uh, to get into that so this is this is where we're looking into right now especially with uh, this market um, we're getting more eyeballs within this company uh, within within this uh, space of nft now the the other tool that i want to share with you guys which really played a, a huge part with how i've been able to um, do the research and analytics on what projects I want to get into or what projects I want to uh, learn more about is using Crypto Slam here. Now, with with this tool, it gives you a really good idea of how each project, um, how the sales volume actually works. And if you were to click on the graph here, let's say for example, let's go into uh, Board Ape Yacht Club. 
you can see over the lifetime of the project you can see the different times and how much cell has been involved within this and why is this important is actually if you were to look at an in uh, investor's mindset would you want to invest into a project that doesn't have many cells at all this is where you want to be looking into the data and reading the the in-between lines um, as how a project would be able to grow or not grow is with the sales volume here so this is very important whenever you're uh, coming into this space whether you're new whether you're not you need to make sure that you always do your own research and this is what I emphasize in my videos is to make sure that regardless of who it is um, it could be someone who is doing really well in the NFT space you must always do your own research so that you can make an informative decision uh, whether or not you want to invest and like always um, I do emphasize as well to always make sure to not take this as financial advice um, always make sure to do your own research and last but not least I want to share this um, Actually, I've, I've come to um, be be very new to this. And the reason why I didn't uh, want to share with you guys immediately when I found out this is actually I was doing my research. <laughs> I was actually finding out whether or not this is worth looking at. And straight away, when I looked at this software called Compass, it straight, straight away reminds me of IC.tools. Um, if you were to watch uh, some of my previous videos, you would uh, see that there is a similarity with how it looks like. But the cool thing that I like about this is straight away, without needing to uh, buy anything extra um, or purchasing um, the uh, premium version, I can straight away see the 15 minute, 30 minute period. And within this NFT space, knowing on time and ahead of time of what's happening is very crucial when it comes to investing. So having these um, periods of 15 minute, 30 minute open already gives me an advantage um, to doing my research. Also, it shows me what is minting right now and the total mints um, out of the, and, what, and what's been minted as well. So this is a really nice tool that I've been able to come familiar with and really do um, enjoy. Now, I'm not, um, affiliated with any of these uh, softwares or um, I'm, I'm, I'm not um, I'm not being uh, asked to promote this but this is definitely something um, worth noting um, especially something um, that I'd like to recommend you guys especially uh, to, to you guys as well uh, I want to make sure that uh, I deliver you guys the best content and also something that I've also um, been using as well. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys did uh, learn anything, please make sure to write it down and comment uh, what you guys have learned, what you guys have taken away. And also, if you haven't already done so, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and also the bell notification next to it because we're dedicated to making videos to educate you on NFTs, crypto, metaverse and all that fun stuff. Um, also, if you haven't already uh, done so, make, please make sure to follow the Twitter. Uh, we'll be updating you uh, with news and updates of uh, what's going on within the space and also the Discord as well. Um, if you guys want to follow the NFT project that we're also pushing out uh, and also uh, get connected with the community, you can find us there. Uh, until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.